I'm Sasha. I'm a principal genetic counsellor at Guy's and St Thomas's Hospital and a PhD student at the Genome Campus. Genetic counselling is a job where we help people with genetic conditions to understand why they've happened and why they might affect other people in the family. It's a really important job because it helps people to deal with the impact of having a genetic condition and understanding it so that they can make the best decisions to help them and their families. On a typical day before you see a patient, it's really important to make sure that you've prepared to see that patient. And that means that I'll go and do research into the condition that the patient has been referred for. Genetic research changes all the time and there might be things that we now know about a condition that we hadn't known previously. It's really crucial when I first meet a patient that I ask them why they're there and what their questions are. And that's because everybody's really different and everybody has very different understanding about genetics and the causes of genetic conditions. Once I understand a little bit more about where people are coming from, it helps me to explain the genetic information and answer any questions they have and do that in a way that is appropriate for them based on their faith, based on their culture, based on their family and the situation that they're in at that moment. Being a genetic counsellor has been really exciting for me because I've been able to travel around the country and also outside of the country. So I worked for a short time as a genetic counsellor in Johannesburg because I was really interested in knowing about how a completely different society and community use genetic counselling and how it works for the people there. I've also worked in Manchester in the UK and in London and also I visit support groups, schools groups and faith groups talking about genetics as well. In order to become a genetic counsellor, it's really important to have a science background and a caring background. So I started school really interested in science, so most of my background is a science background. I did um, biology in my undergraduate and I did science communication. But my work in charities also meant that I had caring experience and therefore I was able to do a master's in genetic counselling and that's how I became a genetic counsellor. Ever since I was really little, I was always curious about how things work <laughs> and I think that's where my interest in science comes from. But also my background was just um, really colourful and really vibrant. I'm from a really lively part of East London and so I was really exposed from an early age to lots of different cultures, lots of different types of food, lots of different ways of living. So I think when I look at what I do now, it kind of makes sense. I do really love my job and no two days are the same. Sometimes it is really hard and people do receive really sad news. But on the flip side, sometimes people receive really good news. And I feel really, really privileged to be the person who's able to tell somebody the most amazing news of their life.